released from Grafton Prison on Monday, after being pardoned for killing her four children, Kathleen Folbert looked very different from when she was last seen in public. Smiling and relieved, she got out of the car and hugged her best friend Tracy Chapman. The next day, a pre-recorded video message from Ms. Chapman's farm showed Ms. Folberg arranging flowers, spending time with the animals, and expressing her gratitude and love for her children. She wore a white shirt and light makeup, her hair longer and dyed a darker color. Much softer, intentionally curated, than was last seen publicly in 2019 in the first forensic investigation into the Hunter Valley woman's convictions for their babies, Sarah, Laura, Patrick, and Caleb. This investigation did not turn out well for him when retired district court judge Reg Blanche realized that the evidence from his diary entries only strengthened his guilt. In the 2019 investigation, Ms. Folberg struggled with words and was devastated as she was beaten by her ex-husband Craig Folberg's lawyers and chief prosecutor. Kathleen Folberg provides evidence in the 2019 investigation. The lone person on the witness stand was asked about 70 times whether he killed his children, all under the age of two, who in different incidents between 1989 and 1999. She said she didn't do it every time, a second investigation, which began in 2022 and led to her pardon, heard experts heard that her diary records belonged to a grieving mother rather than plead guilty, and new scientific evidence suggests the Folbig children may have of natural causes. Ms. Folbig did not testify at her 2003 trial, but Australian Story published phone conversations from the prison in 2018, of which she disclosed diary records. The second investigation came after Ms. Folbig had basic support that went much further than her legal team and close friends. After new scientific evidence was found, a group of 100 distinguished scientists from around the world, including Nobel laureates Professor Elizabeth Blackburn and Peter Doherty, medical doctors, and other prominent Australians signed a petition seeking his immediate pardon. From the beginning, High-profile former Sydney broadcaster Alan Jones thought that Ms. Folbig should never have been convicted. He said it was just circumstantial evidence and general hysteria, as in the case of Lindy Chamberlain. The language used in the media to describe Kathleen was awful, she told ABC. When I visited her in prison, there would be photographers waiting outside and headlines like Alan Jones visits Australia's most famous baby, Earth, and poor Kathleen would have to wear it. Alan Jones said it was a disgrace that Miss Folbig was imprisoned. We exchanged letters, and I could see the trauma from her handwriting. I was told that the audience would shut up and I had to stop talking about Lindy Chamberlain's innocence because most people thought Lindy was guilty, but I didn't care. People forget that Kathleen was.